Hi, and welcome to another Secret Entourage Academy episode. Today we have the pleasure of speaking with Darren Kavanoki. Uh, I'm really honored to have this guest on, and I want to. I usually do introductions, breaking down for everyone uh, what our guests have done, but today I want to actually read directly from Darren's site, uh, his bio, because it really hit home for me, and I wanted to go ahead and make sure I shared with the audience, and then we'll have a, uh, a chance to speak with Darren, of course as to his journey. But Darren is a dynamic professional communicator with a proven track record of success as a television host, keynote speaker, and legal analyst. He is the creator and host of the television show Deadly Sins, which airs on Investigation Discovery. He's been named one of the top 100 trial lawyers in California each year since 2007. He regularly appears as an analyst on dozens of nationally syndicated shows, including CNN, The Today Show, and Entertainment Tonight. Most importantly, Darren is a real-life demonstration of what's possible for human beings to achieve. Because of his decades of experience dealing with extreme forms of misbehavior, both his clients and his own, Darren knows that change can happen in a moment and that the past does not have to affect the future. So that intro by itself, man, crazy stuff and really <laughs> proud to, uh, to have you join us today. So, you know, welcome to the Secret Entourage Academy. And Please, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself outside of those words that I just threw out there. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. I'm I'm happy to be here. It's um, it, it, it's funny. I'm glad that those words really resonated with you because uh, my experience is that most people. It's not just that most people overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what they can do in a decade, but it's that. Um, you know, if you would have bumped into me a decade ago and told me what my life was going to be like today, I probably wouldn't have believed you. Uh, and and I think it, it's it's even more. And I've come to appreciate this myself, just as I continue to learn and grow and evolve my thinking and my experiences in this area. That it's more than just that uh, that change it can happen in a moment, but it's that people I think are are um, that they sell themselves short oftentimes when it comes to what they're capable of producing. Uh, and, and it's in our limitations. Uh, here's the really ridiculous part. Our limitations are always self-imposed that at some point we are always accountable for that in our thinking. And, and it really originates in our thinking. Uh, and it is our thinking that will ultimately dictate how far or not we're going to go in, in the world of business, in the world of our relationships, um, and, and most importantly in our relationship with ourselves. But, um, but I'm happy to share anything about my past, about my, uh, my transformational, uh, experiences, anything that might help somebody else along the way is, uh, it's a privilege to be able to do. Well, you know, you, you said something really important here and, you know, you talk about limitation of the mind and I completely agree with you. I think belief is one of the main things that makes us, you know, do the extraordinary or what others seem to believe is, impo is impossible. For you, though, let's look back at that decade. You said you wouldn't believe who you've become ultimately 10 years later. Can you yeah. walk us through who you were then and maybe walk us through that 10 year journey? Uh, yeah. Like, you know, and what matters most to you ultimately that you've achieved? Yeah. Well, I, I think to give it a little bit of context, uh, with your permission, it actually Please, starts yeah. quite a bit earlier. Um, you know, my in my background, um, I, I came from a family that didn't have a lot of structure, and there was a lot of um, there's candidly just a lot of instability.